Hello students, welcome to another class of English. I am Franklin Baca and I'm a teacher at Superación Franciscana High School in La Unión Olancho. Welcome to another class. Remember to stay home to stay safe. Objectives. By the end of the lesson, students should be able to use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, things, etc. Use the superlatives adjectives to compare three or more people, things, etc. and superlative adjectives. Adjectives. So these are the some of the adjectives we are going to be studying today. Tall, tall, short. Call, call. Expensive, expensive. Cheap, cheap. Fast, fast. Slow, slow. Beautiful, beautiful, bad, bad, good, good, intelligent, intelligent, dangerous, dangerous. Now let's see what we need comparatives for. The comparative you use normally if you want to compare two things, people, places, etc. When we compare using short words, one syllable, we add er plus then at the end of the adjective. Example, he is Taller. As you can see, we add the the e r and than. He is taller than me. He is he is taller than me. We have another example. My car is cheaper than your car. My car is cheaper than your car. So we add ER at the end of the adjective plus the word than. My car is cheaper than your car. If an adjective ends in one vowel plus consonant, we double the consonant and add er. For example, b, as you can see, this adjective ends in a vowel, which is the i, plus a consonant, which is letter g. So in this case, before adding ER, we double the consonant. So we put two Gs, bigger. So this is the comparative. Hot, hotter. Thin, thinner. Fat, fatter. 
we have another rule. If an adjective ends with a y, we change it to i and add e r. For example, happy, happier. So as this word ends in a, in a y, as this adjective ends in a y, we add before adding er, we change the y to the i and add er at the end. So happy becomes happier. Funny, funnier. Easy, easier. Ugly, uglier. When we compare two things or people using long word, two or more syllables, we add more plus adjective plus them. For example, Maria is more beautiful, beautiful is the adjective, all right, than Jennifer. Maria es más bonita que Jennifer. This book is more interesting than that book. So as you can see, we add the word more before the adjective and then the word than after the adjective because we are um, using a long adjective, which is interesting. So this book is more interesting than that book. Okay, these are exceptions to the rule. These are uh, these adjectives, good, bad, far, little, more, have their own comparative form. So that's why they are called irregular adjectives. The comparative of good is better, bad, worse, far, further, little, less, more, much. So these are ex ex exceptions to the rule, okay? These um, adjectives have their own comparatives. That's why they are called irregular adjectives. If you want to compare three or more things, people, places, etc., you use the superlative. When using short words, one syllable, we add the plus adjective plus est. For example, the red car is the fastest of all in the group. So that means that among the three cars, the red car runs fast, faster, okay? The dinosaur is the tallest. The dinosaur is the tallest. So we are saying that the dinosaur, um, that among the group, the dinosaur is the tallest, okay? When using long words, two or more syllables, we add the most plus adjective. For example, he is the most intelligent student in the class. She is the most beautiful girl in the world. Ella es la muchacha más bella del mundo. She is 
the most beautiful girl in the world. As you can see, uh, these are exceptions, okay, for the rule. These are exceptions to the rule. These adjectives, as we said before, as we saw before in a comparative, have their own superlative form. So the superlative of good is the best. Bad, the worst. Far, the farthest. Little, the less. Short adjectives. Short adjectives are the words that are the adjectives that are made up of only one or two syllables, as we can see here in this table. Short, comparative shorter, superlative the shortest. Tall, taller, the tallest. Cold, colder, the coldest. Simple, simpler, the simplest. Clever, cleverer, the cleverest. In these two adjectives, we can we can use both forms. Okay, we can also say more simple and more clever. So these are like special adjectives. We can use both the long um, the long form or the short form. Okay. Long adjectives. So these are the adjectives that are uh, made up of two or more syllables. For example, interesting. Sorry, these are the adjectives that are made up of three or more syllables. For instance, interesting. The comparative is more interesting. And the superlative, we have the most interesting. Beautiful more beautiful the most beautiful intelligent more intelligent the most intelligent expensive more expensive the comparative the superlative the most expensive dangerous more dangerous the most dangerous we have another comparative Another adjective, which is, uh, we, we, we use this adjective to describe um, similarities of uh, a place or, or a person, thing, etc. For example, we have these two girls here, Cindy and Pamela. Cindy is as beautiful as Pamela. Cindy is as beautiful as Pamela. Cindy is tan bella como Pamela. So we mean that they are, they, they're both beautiful, all right? One more example. We have these two guys here, Gordon and Tom. So Gordon is as fat as Tom. Gordon is as fat as Tom. Now let's practice. Can you write the comparative form of the given adjectives? Okay, good. Very good. More intelligent than. The comparative adjective of call is colder than. More expensive than, shorter than, simpler than, better than. Very good. Excellent. Write the superlative form of the given adjective. the highest, the most dangerous, the simplest, the most interesting, the coldest, the farthest. Very good, excellent.
now we have the, we have these girls and these boys here, have this group of people here. And look at the pictures, write sentences using the words in parentheses. All right. Mary is more beautiful than Angie. Carla is more intelligent than Luis. Mary is shorter than Carla. Luis is the tallest of all. Great. Read and write. An elephant is bigger than a tiger. A tiger is taller than a cat. A cat is thinner than a hypo. A hypo is fatter than a lizard. A lizard is longer than a dog. A dog is shorter than an elephant. Read and write. We have more examples. We have more, exa more exercises to practice. A zeal is more careful than a hypo. A hypo is more peaceful than a tiger. A tiger is more intelligent than a lizard. A lizard is more beautiful than a mouse. A mouse is more horrible than a lizard. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson and learned a lot, okay? Thank you so much. Bye for now.